others and I'm now getting them re recorded so sorry about that and sorry for my long absence I was creating these cards right here and I received my first deck of a test deck of them I'm already finding typos and errors so <laughs> it's a good thing we're, good thing I have them in hand and then also I get to use them in my readings and it's been a lot of fun so if you're interested in having a deck of yourself it would be wonderful to have you uh, be a backer of my Kickstarter campaign. Check out my campaign uh, video and go to the link below for that if you're interested. It's actually three decks in one. Uh, for It's 108 cards, and if you act right now, you can also get the bonus set, which is not going to be, be available later, of 10 extra cards of the Planetary Influences. So We'll talk more about the cards as, we're, as I'm going. I'll be pointing out some things. So... So this is for one of you. I will see as it kind of unfolds which I feel is which, or you might identify with one or the other. And here's the other. So uh, energies between the two of you. Some complications going on. Oh wow, interesting. Okay, so um, for one, there's we have okay. In each one of these, we have one card that stands out as kind of that more negative card and a warning type of a card. It's not negative. The lighthouse is not really negative. It is more, it's a warning. The broom to me is not, it's kind of a negative card, but it's a good thing. The ball and chain is definitely a negative card, and so is the yarn, which is complications. So very interesting. We've got a lot of something going on in your situation. So however this is going to read for you guys, um, if it resonates with you, then I'd wait to hear in the comments below. For one of you, there, flowers are very, very positive cards. So in the center of whatever's going on, there is, it actually is going to have a very positive outcome benefit in the long term, like in the end. And we also have the Wheel of Fortune that comes along and says that, um, you know, the universe is at, at uh, you know, in, in charge here. This is really happening along, along the lines of what's meant to be. Um, but there's like this up and down nature of that, you know, like first you're up, then you're down kind of Wheel of Fortune thing. Um, it also is about karma and cycles, so I do feel like whoever this is, they are dealing in their life with some really big kind of karma type of things that just have to be worked through. And right now, it feels like there's nothing going on with that. It feels stuck. It feels like there's a standoff and there's no way out. There's someone who's, you know, refusing to compromise in a situation who won't commit to making, you know, making a choice or whatever to really go for their happiness because the, the, the flowers is all about happiness and joy and experiencing abundance and you know things that you love and um, you know what's truly a gift in your life and I'm just kind of feeling like that's not really um, ha happening for this person right now and it is because they're really just stuck and in a stalemate situation so we're gonna kind of want to see what might um, well the thing that might get them moving or will get them moving and you know change that is the uh, Wheel of Fortune. The universe coming in, some kinds of fate, um, cycles, forces of the universe, destiny uh, coming in to you know push that and change that. Over here, uh, interesting because the broom and the anchor have quite opposite meanings. The anchor is about things being really solid and secure and maybe even stuck where the broom is about just sweeping things away and getting rid of things you don't need. And there is a warning with the lighthouse. The lighthouse, to me, can really have a positive connotation of, you know, a light in the darkness and that kind of thing, but it is always talking about danger and warning of danger and, you know, letting people know what to watch out for. So I'm feeling like here, whoever this is, is it's kind of interesting, a very similar energy to what's happening over here, where stalemate and anchor have kind of a, you know, a, a similar meaning in that, you know, stalemate is not moving or going anywhere and anchor is really just, you know, solid and secure and stuck in something. And right now it's saying you need to be careful if this is you or the other person, you need to be careful not to be like, like your, um, while being steady and, and persevering and that kind of thing is a good thing. You need to be careful here because in that there is something that actually you do need to let go of. There's something that you need to be willing to um, sweep out, clean up, put in some work to 
release, let go, move on. So that, of course, will mean different things for different people, but it's coming up to be highlighted. You really, you know, like this could even say, just the broom and the anchor could say, you know, there's something in this that you're stuck in that needs to be swept away. The, the lighthouse just comes up and says, it really needs to be done. Like, you need to deal with that. Kind of like what's over here. This person needs to deal with it too, but I have a feeling that they're, I have a feeling that this person is kind of like, um, I don't know if it is that they don't know how to deal with it in the universe, you know, like things just end up opening up and, and it, it just happens for them because they're like, it's, you know, they don't even know how to do it. I feel like it is. It's like the universe is a gift that the movement comes in as a gift, but this person needs to put in the work to do it. <laughs> I feel for a lot of my viewers this is going to be you because you have like kind of that higher sense of awareness of like yeah I got to do that work I didn't want to I was like trying to put it off I was trying to like you know leave it in the corners it's all dusty and not deal with it but yeah I need to I need to and then what's the deal is here for this situation because this person's a little stuck and this one's a lot stuck is it needs in your own things I don't feel like you're stuck like with whatever's happening between the two of you it's your own stuff I feel like it's your own stuff um, but that is affecting the both of you. So your ability to move forward in, in love and joy and romance and all of that is um, being complicated through some of, you know, whatever's, you guys are both tied up kind of in your own shit. I'm sorry for the, <laughs> so you have um, someone, I feel like this is actually kind of what's going on here. One of you is just, it's complicated and you've got a lot of different little things you got to, you know, un untangle. And then someone else is like really, really like it. They're in a ball and chain. They're trapped and whatever. They're unhappily married. I feel like for a lot of you, this is because this person is unhappily married. This is the stalemate. They're unhappily married They're, or, or in an unhappy um, situation. It's, um, you know, m m it was supposed to, needed to end a long time ago doesn't look like it's going to on its own and this is where the universe comes in and just like you know what here's a gift for you because you're not doing it and it's time it's time already so we're gonna kick you in ass it might like not be very comfortable it could be very very uncomfortable to get pushed out of that but that's gonna happen and um, this yarn this com the complications and everything um, that's going on is like it's gonna get dealt with and the only reason I'm saying I'm sure it will get dealt with is because we've got this here if it weren't, you know, we could look at this and be just like, eh, I don't know when this person's going to ever get out of that because that's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff there. But we do have the universe when it comes in, there's no, there's no, um, there's no getting away. Let me take a look at what's going on with this from the perspective of the planets, the planetary influencers, the um, 10 bonus cards that are available right now during my Kickstarter campaign only. It's like a bonus set, and we have um, Mars. <laughs> I don't know, why does that not surprise me? I'm thinking either Pluto, either Pluto, or sorry about the banging there, um, either Pluto or Mars, and sure enough, we have Mars, the ruler of destruction. Something's gonna come crashing down to make this change. And um, let's pull one spirit animal card to see what's going on with um, some more of that. You know what, I'm gonna do one for yeah, right here. That's what it's going to do. So, I wanted to um, bring in some kind of other energy because we have all this, you know, these problems and everything. Uh, we got the memory keeper, the crow. He's cu he's cunning and cocky, playful, mysterious. He's a trickster and he knows things. And so, um, I feel like this is just coming in to kind of lighten this up. <laughs> it's, it, you know, might feel like things are really, really stuck here. But, um, first of all, I feel like you know things and you can trust the fact that you know things. And, um, you know, just kind of lighten it up. Be fun and playful, you know, while you're, as, as much as you can when you're going through some tough things. Let's take a look at a timing situation or t the likely timing for Leo to be experiencing this and what might be the outcome or not, what might be a time frame that we would see this outcome of the Mars destruction tower energy. Um, by the way, if we add the planetary influencers plus the signs of the zodiac, it actually makes the major arcana. We have a timing of Gemini, which is within four to eight weeks during the spring or between May 22 to June 21, kind of the time of Gemini. So for many of you, it looks like it's gonna be happening soon. All right, what's interesting too, is that this reading actually really corresponds with the original reading I did for Leo uh, that got deleted. So kind of the very same energies 
at play here came up again. Great to see that. And uh, thank you guys. We'll talk to you soon. We'll see you within a week or so for another round of readings. And thanks for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing my channel. As a longtime tarot card user, I recently took the leap into learning Lenormand, another great intuitive divination tool for accessing the higher knowing of our subconscious mind. Developed in the 18th century by a famous seer, it has a unique voice and direct approach to everyday matters in life. With just 36 cards and simple imagery of things like the sun, the moon, a letter, or a tree, this system delivers thousands of specific meanings through corresponding two-card pairs. That's a vast possibility of intuitive messages, but the task of becoming proficient in its use is truly daunting. To tackle the learning curve, I decided to create a Lenormand-based oracle of my own that would be visually appealing, but also contain easy-to-read keywords to convey the card's various possible meanings and contain additional cards that could represent the most common two-card pairs. It would also include timing cards, because who doesn't want to know when something is going to occur? The final result of my creative design process has yielded a trilogy, three sets of 36 cards for a total of 108. The picturesque Lenormand Oracle is a beautiful, classic oracle with warm, inviting images evocative of old photo albums. The Nuance Lenormand Oracle contains additional cards that were carefully chosen to represent the meanings of the most common two-card pairs from the Lenormand. The Zodiac and Spirit Animal Oracle contains 12 cards to represent each sign of the Zodiac and to address timing, but also to show up in a breeding as a particular person, similar to the tarot court cards. A number of animals showed up with powerful things to say. Their voices add nuance and reveal secrets of spirit and remind us of our connection to Source. I'm also offering a collector's bonus exclusive to this campaign. It is 10 additional cards that are the planets, including the sun and the moon, and when paired with the 12 signs of the zodiac, they actually form the major arcana from the tarot. This Kickstarter will fund the first run edition of the Nuance Oracle Trio, and subsequent sales will finance the completion of Intuit, an intuitive divination app I've developed based on the tarot and the Norman. The rewards are as follows. I'm completely finished with the Intuit Nuance Oracle Trio card images, so as soon as the campaign is over, they will be sent immediately to the printers. Thank you so much for your support. I truly can't wait until they're printed, packaged, and shipped to you, and I'm confident that you'll enjoy using them as much as I have enjoyed creating them.